Guys, I'm a dumbass and I'm taking a GCSE maths test. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. I'm doing a foundation tier maths test. Back in school, I was sick. I got a B in school, but I remember I was two marks off an A, so I actually got an A. Maths, yeah, it was my thing. It's my second language. I could speak it better than English. That was 10 years ago. This is the foundation tier paper. Right, let's do it. I have an hour and 30 minutes to complete this test. Which type of angle is the largest? I swear it's reflex, like acutes when it's smaller than 90 degrees. Yeah, it is definitely that one. Right, 4x times 8. 4 times something equals 8. Yeah x equals 2, 4 times 2 equals 8, isn't it? Easy claps, 10 plus minus 4. Wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there. I remember this. I swear that makes it a plus. Ah! If you had a positive number and a negative number, I swear, like, it flips the negative number into a positive. I swear, or I swear that's true. I swear to God that's true. I swear that's true. I swear it's 6. Circle the calculation, which works out half of 12. Okay, so it's 12 times a half, 6. We have 3, 6, 4 plus 17. Oh my god, my mental maths is... Ah. Okay, so 375. Why don't I just add 20 and minus 2? See this? I'm an idiot! Yeah, it is 383, isn't it? I'm second guessing everything. It is it's 383. Ah! It's a two mark question. It took me that long. 936 by 2. Uh, 0 0.36 times 2. 9 times 2 is 18. I'm sure that's right. That seems sound, isn't it? Five points are plotted on the centimetre grid. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Work out one possible pair of coordinates for the other vertex. Hexagons are six sides, aren't they? 6.6 .6 sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Claps! Yeah, it's easy! Like, hexagon on that, like, looks like Superman's chest. Like, you know, the little less than that. It's X first and then Y, isn't it? 2 by 5. Easy! Oh yeah, one more rule, because it's been a decade since I've done anything serious with maths, right? I get three chances to Google search a word that I don't understand right. Come on, man, it's fair, it's fair. After I've completed the test, I'm gonna be going through and marking it as well. Amy and Brad has some money, Carly has no money. Yo, Carly a broke bitch, yeah. Amy gives seven pounds to Carly, seven pounds. Brad gives five pounds to Carly, and then she's on 12 pounds. Brad will be on 12 pounds, then Amy will be on 12 pounds as well. So yeah, Amy had 19 quid, simple. I'm seeing graphs, oh no, it's going down. The game is played 50 times. Vertical line shows the winning scores, right down the mode. What does mode mean? Hold on, hold on. I don't know whether to write seven, seven games came up with. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to write this answer here, 29. Pray to God that's right. Game is played again. Use the chart to estimate the probability that the winning score is 25. Okay, well, it's four out of 50, isn't it? Do I need to make these numbers smaller? One out of 12 and a half games. That makes no sense. Oh, what is this now? You know, I'm just going to write four out of 50. So I've just got to add all of these together. I'm pretty sure that's what I've got to do. Seven, 10. 14, 14, 28, 38. Nah, 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 yo. I'm writing it out as fractions. That looks way cleaner. Write down all factors of 18. Bruh. This is gonna kill me. This is, I'm not gonna enjoy this. Ah! All factors of 18, bro. Two of 25, there we go. I'm gonna halve all these. I feel like that's the right methodology. I remember Miss Bailey, my maths teacher, being like, Luke, you can simplify that even more. What are you doing? Did you not do your homework? All factors of 18, though. Hold on, what does factors mean? Yeah. All factors of 18, so that's all the numbers that like can multiply into 18, isn't it? 1, 2, 4, 6, 9. Lowest common multiple of 12 and 15. Yeah, it's 3. Coaches take people to a festival. Each coach can take 50 people. From one city, there are 820 people. Oh, there's going to be 30 seats spare on one seat. Yeah, okay. Simple maths this is. 800 divided by 50. What is that? 40. Oh, it's not 40. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> 20. Luke, what's the answer, bro? It's in your head. It's in your head. Five times two equals ten. And then do ten times eight. Oh, <laughs> the <laughs> Yeah, it is 16. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. So that means 80 times 5. 16? Yo, I knew I was right. You see that? You see that? Yo, yo, don't make me start. Don't make me start. Yo, I was about to start on you lot then, you know. I know whatever this number is, I've got to add one coach on. I know my working out scuffed. I know that's the right answer though. From a different city, 13 coaches are needed. Each coach costs. Oh, it's 450 times first. 13, innit? Okay, that's easy claps. Yo, whenever we're talking money, I'm there with the mathematics, you know. Trust me. I think it's 58350. Yo, 5.8 Gs for some coaches. Here is a triangle on a square dotted grid. On the grid, show how you can make a parallelogram with two of these triangles. Oh, wait a sec. Hold on. Yo, you see that examiner? That's it. Mm, give my goddamn mark. On the grid below, show how you can make a trapezium with three of these triangles. Right, there we go. Where I think the next triangle needs to go is down here like this. Bang, you see that, bro? 
Don't even say anything, guys. I know it's mad, isn't it? Oh, it's a rhombus now. A rhombus is a plain 2D figure that has straight lines. It is considered a quadrilateral, so it has four sides. I don't know if this is right yet. I'm just going to go with this anyway. There's no way this is right. That's not right, is it? Oh, I know what it looks like. Oh, I knew what it looked like 10 years ago. Yo, I think that might be the answer though. Okay, work out 65%, 300 percentages. Percentages. Yo, that's my shit. Bang, 195, that's the answer. If you guys want to see me attempt the higher tier paper, give me 2k likes, I'll do it for you guys. I will stress my life out for you. In a game, the average score was 50. Yeah, that's right, innit? So I've basically got to multiply 50 by 2.5. One, two, five, bruh. Okay, here's a cuboid. Work out the volume. That times that times that. Claps. Yo, this is too easy. Circle the shape that has a uniform cross section. I'm not gonna lie, what does uniform mean? I'm gonna Google that. Yo, guys, I'm gonna have to use one of my lives. Okay, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. That's a cylinder there. It's gotta be cylinder in it. That may have been a bit of a cheeky finesse. I do not gonna lie to you and be like, hmm, I think it might be cylinder when I just bait saw it there. It's only one mark anyway. Yo, let, leave me alone, man. God. Here's a map showing points A and B. Yep, I see it. Kamal wants to measure the bearing from A to B. Draws two lines and measures the angle between them. Kamal says that bearing A from B is 100 degrees. You see the way how this question set out yeah it suggests that it's not the correct answer how can he be wrong because that looks like 100 degrees and i ain't got a protractor from me my name pythagoras why don't i have a protractor from me yeah on a different map the bearing of d from c is 45 degrees nina says d is northwest of c is nina correct yes she's correct the one of reason Yes, because Nina said it. This map shows an airport E on an island. One centimeter represents 100 kilometers. Plane flies due south from the airport. How far does it fly until it reaches the sea? That's 0 0.4 centimeters on ruler. <laughs> Bang in. Simplify 56 and that's this, this is ratios. This is ratios. Seven over three. Bang in. Write in the ratio of 5 over 4 in the form n equals 1. Bro, what are you asking me? 3 over 28. Share 180 in the ratio of 1. What does what does that mean? Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay, okay. In the form n equals 1. So this has to be 1, doesn't it? This ratio here. I don't know how I work. Well, I know how I work that out, but it's like really long to explain. Y'all guys, trust me. That's the actual answer. I swear down. Share 180 pounds in the ratio of 1 over 9. Well, 1 plus 9, that's... 10, isn't it? I've got to do 18 times 9. I feel like I'm doing well to say that I'm freestyling this. Not going to lie. I'm all right, lads. Okay, here's some data about people listening to the radio station one day. Listen, some bangers and that, yeah. More boomers listen to radio stations. Get Spotify. Yeah, boomers are listening more. Okay, you, oh, yo, algebra P. 4A minus 2B equals 10. Write down the value of 2A minus B. Right, y'all guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm done. It's been halved. 2B equals 5, innit? Okay, write down the value of 2B minus 4A. How do you work that out, man? 2 times 3, that equals 6. Minus B, which could be 1, equals 5. 4 times 3, that equals 12. And then 12 minus 2 is 10. Yes! Got it! That does not feel right. Oh, man, I'm so insecure about answers right now. <laughs> you are given that 4A minus 2B equals 10 and A plus C equals 3. Like, what, bro? Why is this thing asking me? Oh, no, it's asking me now. So I've got to write A, B, and C. Play around with it somehow so the answer equals 23. <laughs> so, oh, no, man, this is annoying me. This is annoying me so bad. B is 1 times A plus C. Yes, sir. That's correct. Talk to me. Yo, chat to me then. That that's right. I know it is. Luke, you're a beast, mate. Ooh, the standard four mean. What the standard four mean? Okay, yeah, it's that. Ten to power three in it. How am I supposed to work that out? Now I've got to give my answer as an ordinary number as well. Not asking for much, are you? Is that right? That's right. Anna plays a game with an ordinary fair dice. She rolls one, she wins. She rolls two or three, she loses. She rolls four, five or six, she rolls again. Complete the tree diagram with four missing probability. Oh my, what I'm even looking at here. She rolls one. So that's a probability of one of six, isn't it? It's two of six, isn't it? One of six, one of three. Yep, there we go. Simple. Easier than it looked. No. Yeah, okay, I'm an error into this. Can't believe it's taking me that long, but yo, we move. Is Anna more likely to win or to lose? Yeah, she's more likely to lose. Hold on a sec. No, Lou, you're right, but how are you gonna work this out, bro? Like, these fractions are like, Ugh, what am I trying to say, bro? She's more likely to lose because of this. Once it goes down this route, it's even, but you're more likely to get two or three than you are to get one. You know what I'm saying? That, to me, that's correct. Like, why am I trying to convince you guys? You know I'm right. Three friends arrive at a party. Their arrival increases the number of people at the party by 20%. The way to write this. Yo, let's get smart with this, bro. Yeah. Can I just do three divided by 120? No, I can't. Yeah, I can. This is uh, a percentage, bro. What are you doing, man? 
many people I know at the party. Well, I know 20% is three. <laughs> oh my God, where was I going with all that stuff? It's 50. We get into the heavy stuff now. I know a question's bad vibes when I see it. I know that's bad vibes. Yeah, three to the power of 12 divided by three to the power of five. Three to the power of 12, that's 36, isn't it? Yeah, three to the power of 12, that's 36 divided by three to the power of five, which is 15. 36 divided by 15, Rowski. 36 divided by 50 wouldn't have to work that out on an uncalculated pair if that makes no sense i've done that wrong weren't there a thing where you used to be able to like move stuff over like to the other side and that i know i'm like saying weird guy here i swear i'm onto something 36 divided by 18 which is two divide that by three squared which is nine that's two divided by nine and minus 4.5 doesn't feel right though man can't you like flip the number around and make it 18 you know what yo i don't even care yo screw that question a b equals zero which one of these is equal to b that's so tough Yo, you can't be doing this to teenagers, you know. It's definitely not zero. Oh, wait, it's that one. C times D equals one. Which one of these is equal to D? It's C. No, it's not C, it's one. A shaded semicircle is inside a circle is shown. I think this is like the latter ends of the paper where you have to show if you're a real geezer or not, you know. I swear this is make or break this is. To work out the area of this, don't we? This boy right here, him. That's 3.14 in it. Need to work out the area of this, that, times the radius. Oh, man, that slipped my mind. Nah, that's not coming out. That formula, you have to know it. You have to know it. You know what? Let's just work it out anyways. Is it pi r squared? Yeah, it is. Nah, it is, it is, it is, it is. It is. I remember that now. I'm trying to work out the area of this circle. And I work out the area of this circle. Work out which one's bigger. Instead of 8 centimetres, 4 centimetres. Okay, so that's 3.14 times 12. 3 times 12, well, that's 26. 0 0.14 times. Yep, it's 12. 27.68. I think I am. I think I am. But obviously, it's half seven circles, so I've got half that. That's rough, man. Ah, man, I'm getting a headache, yo. Bro, this... Nah, nah, nah. I ain't right, bro. Why have I done all of this? Okay, so basically, guys, what I've done, worked out the um, area of the big circle, and I've worked out the area of the little circle inside it. Yo, man's just going to guesstimate this year. I think the answer's 11. Mental maths, don't ask me. I can't explain it. That's bare long. Oh, man, why have I seen another graph, man? Oh, <laughs> The number of items, N made in one hour by a machine is given as n equals 60 divided by t t is time in minutes the value of t changes from types of items well yo what you mean draw a graph big man what is what yo big man oh my god i'm gonna have to just go for it oh wait hold on hold on i can work this out hold on ah, ah. 30 of 60 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 4 of 60 is 15 and I've just run out of time. Oh, man. I'm going to carry on anyways. Looks like it's 17 to me. Oh, I was two questions away from completing it as well. Rearrange X equals 2Y minus 6. Make Y the subject. That right? No, it's wrong. That's the answer. I think. I hope. Last question. Last question. Come on, let's do it. That's it, I don't care. Guys, I've done this cursed thing. Now, I've got to go through and mark it. On the screen, I have the marking booklet. Question one, which angle's the largest? Reflex, one mark. Question two, x equals two. Yo, I told you, man, I'm too sick. Question three, 10 plus minus 46. I knew I was right with that one. Okay, dubs, let's go. Question number four. Yo, I'm sick. Oh, no, 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 no. I got this answer wrong. All right, how did I get that wrong? Wait. Oh, no, I got it right. I am so confused. I'm just going to give myself two marks for that because, like, you know, the right answer's there in it. Like, you, like, see that in it. Dubs. Oh, wait, I'll rip 3, 6. It's not 3, 2. Nah! 5B. 9.36 times 2. Yeah, 18.72. Let's go. Question 6. 2 is the 5 is the answer. Yeah, all right, sick. Question 7. Yo, marking pages is hard. I'm mad confused. Oh, method 1. So this is, like, the working out this bit here. And then these are the answers that I was supposed to give Yeah. Well, I got the answer right. 8A, 29. Dubs. 4 out of 50. Oh, root out is a fraction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dubs, dubs, dubs. I was right. I was unsure about this. 8C. Ignore attempts to simp. Nah! What do you mean ignore attempts? And I wrote 38 out of 50, not 39 out of 50. What the hell did I do? I, was, oh, I got that straight up wrong. Write down all factors of 18. I didn't write 18. <laughs> I didn't write 18. Of course, 18 goes into itself. Zero marks again. Wait, 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 wait. Yo, I still get the marks. Dubs. Yo, two marks. Lowest common multiple. I was meant to times them. Zero, 10A. Oh, the answer was right. My working out's weird, but I got it right. Yeah, look, I did it here. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 here, look. Dubs, three marks. Give me them marks, my G. 5850, yeah, dubs. I did all the working out as well, dubs. Yeah, three marks again. On the grid below, show that you can make a parallelogram out of the two. That's a parallelogram. That was a romba. Either way, I got the mark, though. G whoa what's that oh well i got it right though that's a trapezium oh shit yeah it is i remember it now wait a sec wait a sec wait a sec a rhombus is a diamond 
it actually is. Oh, I'm just gonna firm that out. I'm not even gonna argue about it. I'm gonna firm that out. Answer here, 195, got that right. Answered that question with energy as well. Question 13, 125, yeah, dubs. Okay, so the keyboard one, work out the volume of it. The answer's uh, 350, got that right. I'm working out to fire as well, two marks. Cylinder, oh, this was the one I cheated on, weren't it? Yo, yo, shut up, man. 16A. Oh, wait, the answer's no. I swear I should have had a protractor for this test. 16B. I got this one wrong as well. Whatever, man. Whatever. Moving on. I got it wrong, man. Zero marks again. Okay, this one, though. Yo, blitzed all of that. Give me my two marks. 17B. One put. Yo, give me them mark. I'm making it back in this section, though. 168. Yo, two marks again. Okay, I said there's more boomers that listen to the radio. I got this one right. Question 19. I got that wrong? I thought I did bits on this. No, 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 no. I did, I did. Answers five. Question 19B minus 10. I got that right again. Okay, 19C. Did I get this one right though? Condone answers equals 23 after. Nah! I thought I did bits. Yo, I don't even care. Yeah, I'm giving myself one mark for the answer. I can agree with the workings out, but yo, I got the right answer, so I'm marking that as 23. Suck you, mom. Don't even care. Right, question 28. Minus four. Oh, it's minus four, not times three. Okay, I feel like this is wrong as well then, you know. Yeah, it's 300,000 instead of 30,000. We're working it out, it's correct. <laughs> 21A. Okay, so that one's right. Yeah, that one's right as well. Fire, all right, two marks. Oh man, nah, I take a heavy L on this. Yeah, zero marks, man, that's an L. Hey, yo, I'm not gonna lie, foundation's harder than you think, you know. And I was straight up wrong on this one. <laughs> I know I got none of this right. <laughs> What's that then? Zero marks. Jeez, yo. I thought I'd have blasted all of them. I know I got this wrong. Like, why am I doing 314 divided by 27.6 out on a non calculator paper? So I knew I went wrong there, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, for these two bits here, yo, I'm giving myself a mark. Don't even care. Answer's wrong though. Okay, this is the part that I done when I had like a minute left, so I rushed this. I got it right. Dubs! 26B. I was supposed to plot the line. I did them dots. I'm giving myself the mark. Hey, yo, this last page, yeah, bad vibes. I remember this. Yeah, I got that wrong. Yeah, I got that wrong as well. You know what? Yeah, I'm not even bothered. I've definitely passed this. I'm told I got 48. I don't know what grade that is. I swear that's like enough to pass. Yeah, so anyways, I got 48 over 80. So uh, do with that information <laughs> you want. Nah, wait. Does that mean I got a D?